All right, so I've done a handful of these logo animation tutorials right here on this channel, but there's just a handful of different ways you can animate a logo, create an intro right here inside of After Effects. So in this video, I wanna keep things simple, minimalistic, and easy to create. So we're gonna create a very minimalistic logo reveal right here inside of After Effects using three essential but easy techniques. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. So this tutorial is gonna help you in pretty much any sort of logo animation scenario that you're in because it's clean and basic and it's broken down into three easy parts so you're going to be able to follow along very easily so i said easy a lot so let's jump into our tutorial and we're going to get started so here we are in our tutorial composition all we have in here is a logo and a background so this is your logo right here so when you drop your logo in the first thing i like to do is go to layer pre-compose and you can call it placeholder. And the reason why you do that is because you can change out the logo later so you can use this as a template. So what we wanna do is really start revealing this on and get the basis of logo animation here. So what we're gonna do, what I like to do is grab the ellipse tool and animate the background because everything should kind of flow together. So what I wanna do is draw out a circle here and you know, bring that there. And what I'm gonna do is come here to the line tab and center this up and we'll hit Astron keyboard for scale and we'll add a keyframe for that. We'll move that keyframe forward in time maybe by a half a second set down the scale percent to zero percent and move forward to the last keyframe and just scale up the circle just above the you know composition like so so what we're going to do here is we're going to select both of these keyframes and we're going to hit f9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes then we'll come here to the graph editor click the point down here and you'll see these vertices just drag both of these in and this is going to be the base of our animation here because what's going to happen is boom that's just going to snap in place and we'll make sure we put this underneath our logo layer and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer and offset it in time and what we'll do is come here to the fill color here at the top and we'll change out our color to be a different color and click ok so what's going to happen here boom you're going to have a very simple you know reveal on for your background and you have your background color here on the cir second circle background so you can turn your logo back on if you turn it off for this. And now we want to animate in our logo. But before we do that, I want to place a circle behind our logo so it can help stand out even more and create somewhat of a different element here. So this is up to you. Grab the ellipse tool again. And I'm just going to draw out a perfect circle from here from the center. Make sure this is in the center and control double click the pan behind tool. This way, the anchor point will be in the center of your circles. And we'll go ahead and just scale this up to size and we can easily change our color to any color we want so maybe i'll do this pinkish logo color and i'll put this underneath our logo placeholder like so so what we're going to do here is we'll grab our shape layer here and we'll add a keyframe for scale move that keyframe forward in time and bring the scale down to zero percent and we'll make both these keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard and we'll go back to the graph editor and do that same exact thing again with the vertices boom perfect and then that will come on. We'll grab our logo layer and we'll hit Astron keyboard for scale and we'll add a keyframe from that. And move that forward in time. And then once again, set the scale down 0%. Select both keyframes, hit F9 on keyboard. Go to the graph editor and once again, just drag out those vertices to the center. That way now if everything timed up perfectly, boom, everything kind of just flows right in there. And that looks great and I really like it. So very simple logo animation. Um, and just to set this up a little bit more for the title to come on because you're probably gonna have a title with your logo What we can do is go up to layer new uh, Null object and we'll grab say our circle background right here along with our logo placeholder and we'll grab the pick whip Parent it to the null object. So once this comes in what we want to do is we'll just hit P on keyboard for position And we'll hit shift s for scale and we'll add a keyframe for both of these Okay, and we'll move forward here by a little bit and we'll have our logo just come up by a touch and then we'll scale it down by a little bit as well. And we'll take these scale keyframes and we'll just move them over. And once again, what we'll do is we'll select our keyframes, make them easy ease keyframes and go to the graph editor. And this time what we're gonna do is actually click on this choose graph type option here and make sure you're on the edit speed graph, okay? Now you can easily select your vertices and bring that in. And one thing I've been saying is vertices, I mean to say handles, but make sure you grab your handles and bring these in here. Uh, always a common mistake to call these vertices, but call them handle. And now if all of our animation put together, it's going to go right into place to be able to reveal on a title for our second technique. And before we move further into our tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 650 motion graphic starter pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphic starter pack extension right here inside of After Effects, which holds hundreds of templates ranging from titles, animated backgrounds, call to actions, shape transitions, and more. And for example, if you're looking for a title animation, we can come through here 
find a title animation that we want by previewing it and click on apply when we find the template that you want and we automatically get a full title animation imported into our composition which we can go into that title composition change out our titles to whatever we need it to say and we can easily adjust the graphics to fit our titles perfectly then it updates automatically in our main composition and we have this animation and then we can also apply accent motion graphics to help enhance this so we'll come into our clusters and we'll apply a very quick accent graphic cluster to this. So now we have our title animation with a little bit more detail with our accent graphics to help bring this to the next level. We can also apply an animated background to this or we can go to our expanded library of Sunduck backgrounds and we can apply a background that works perfectly for our project. And when you find the right template, you go ahead and click on apply. All right, and now we're able to put together a full composition right here inside of After Effects by adding titles, animated backgrounds, and accent graphics to help take this to the next level. And we have a handful of different packs for our extension right here in After Effects so you can build up your library of templates that you can apply into any project you are working on. So if you're looking to produce awesome work while of course saving a tremendous amount of time, you can take a look at our pack. I will link it below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right our second technique is the title animation of the logo so you know get your hand on the font and the typeface of what you're working with for your logo you can just ask the client or you know you need to find out that information so you can type it out here in after effects that gives you the most control over the title so once you have it typed out here inside of after effects as i have i have two title layers here the main one and also a website assuming that you're going to be putting like a you know, website URL in there as well. So what we're going to do is we'll take our main you know title right here and I'm going to open up our layer and I'm going to come here to animate and I'm simply just going to add a position. We're going to keep this all simple because we want this just to pop into place. You know, we're not trying anything complex. We want to keep it smooth and you know easy to understand. So what we'll do is take our position that we put in here and we'll bring it down just like so and we'll come here to the add icon, go to property and just add an opacity. Set down 0% easy. All right, so then what we're gonna do is open up range selector one and we'll add a keyframe for start percent and we'll move forward in time, you know, set it to 100% and, you know, we'll select both of these keyframes, easy, easy keyframes, and we'll go back to the graph editor. And once again, we'll grab our handles by clicking the points and just dragging those in, creating that smooth line right there. So it's gonna allow this to pop in place, but you have an option here. You can do it by characters or we come here to the advanced tab and we can set this based on words. So if you have more than one word, this will work great so boom that pops in place now what's beautiful about this is i can just uh you know grab our animator one here and copy it select our second title layer which if you have a website url and i'm just simply gonna just paste this in here right and i'll offset the layer in time and now what's gonna happen boom second one comes up so i'll time that up perfectly so now this is basically it so we have our revealing of our logo and boom the title comes in place so that's all kind of rolling along just fine and i like it and by working on the timing here we can really just have this could be a little bit more you know fast or you can slow it down by adjusting the top three layers your title in the null object so you really control the timing here all right so now we have the foundation of our you know animation here it's simple it's minimalistic you know it's clean it gets to the point but I want to show those of you some further techniques if you want to just add a little bit more spice to this, uh, add a little bit more detail because, you know, knowing me, I like to add as much detail as possible when it makes sense. So I'm going to show you some of these techniques here to help you bring it to the next level. So third technique is simply just applying some accent graphics. All right, so we'll come here to the top and we'll grab any tool that you want. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool, but you can grab the rectangle tool, polygon tool, whatever you want to use. And you'll see what we're doing here. We're going to just create some accent graphics. And all I'm going to do is come here and draw out a perfect circle like so. Just like that. Control double click the pan behind tool to make sure that the anchor point will be in the center. All right. Then what we're going to do is come here to the ellipse one. All right. And what we're going to do is open up ellipse one. Go to transform ellipse one. And we'll add a keyframe for scale. And we'll just move that keyframe forward in time. I'll move it over to a half a second. And then I'll set the scale down to 0%. And as always, we'll make this easy, easy keyframes. You go into your graph editor and as always do that thing with the handles. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is take our ellipse one here and we're going to go to edit, duplicate, click on the word contents, go to add and we'll add a merge paths. All right, open up merge paths one, uh, set the mode to subtract and then just hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Grab the bottom keyframes right here and offset it in time by a little bit. So what's gonna happen Boom, it's just gonna create this little quick accent circle or whatever shape you use, you can use a square and that's what it is. So what we'll do is right when our logo kind of pops in here, we'll have our circle explode or shape explode 
come in here and you'll see it's like right there perfect and what we'll do is just take this layer and we'll duplicate it we'll just move it randomly around our composition and create several other duplicates of it in just random spots and then when we have enough duplicates in here and you're happy with it what you'll do is just kind of offset these in time by a few frames i usually like to do by a lot of like maybe like a second but just a few one or two frames here is going to be enough so now boom you know we have a bunch of different circles in here and that looks great and you can also add squares in here as well and rotate them and that's what you'll get something like this and that looks really cool and if you want you can take all of your accents that you've already created duplicate them and you can bring them up and just kind of offset them even further in time so you have your initial set of bursts and then after the animation is done you can continue the burst so now we have you know our first set of accent graphics and then our second set of accent graphics comes on and it just adds that nice level of detail. I would probably keep the accent graphics off of the titles if you have any. So automatically everything looks really good with these accent graphics. It just adds a nice level of detail to our motion graphics. You can add an assortment of other types of accent graphics which I've done a tutorial on. Um, I will link it below because, you know, for example, I have these lines here. You know, I have tutorials on doing all sorts of these motion graphics. So I will link another tutorial below so you can have some more concepts. Or you can take a look at our motion graphics starter pack which has a handful of these accent graphics already pre-made for you that you can just apply within one click of a button. So that is our tutorial on these three simple minimalistic logo techniques right here instead of After Effects. As you can see, it's pretty easy to put together this sort of logo animations. It's just a lot into the, you know, the graph editor and the speed of the animations. But I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creating.